Let's take a look at normal distributions where we have many items and we want to find uh, values. Now let's first talk about what a value is. If it says find probability, percentage, proportion, or area, then you're in wrong function. Uh, this is saying where we're finding uh, the, the age that separates the top 30% from the rest. Or find the number of pages that separates the bottom 20% from the rest. Or find the uh, average find this the range of speeds be, that separates 95% in the middle from the rest um, so something something of that form so again if it says probability percentage proportion or area then it's not this one if it's just asking you to find some kind of value then it's this one now when I say many items this is where we're talking where they give you like uh, in is 30 or in is 20 they're telling you that uh, out of 20 people find the average age that separates the top 30% from the rest. Now let's look at our flowchart. When you're finding values, there's either standard normal distribution, where you're talking about one item, where you're talking about one person, one book, so forth, or where you have many items. And again, this is where you're, like, you're talking about uh, 20, 20 books, or 30 people, or something. And then you're talking about the average age. So this is what this um, video is about. Now here it says find the value separating the bottom 20%. And, uh, and I'm leaving a lot of words out when I'm going to do these examples. We're going to assume for these problems that our mean, which is mu, that's our population mean, is 50. Sigma is 3, and we'll say n is 25. And like the setup on this might be that the average age um, is 50 years old. The uh, standard deviation is 3. Given that we are considering 25 people, find the average age that separates the bottom 20%. So that would be the like a setup on a problem. Okay. Now the key to this is, is the uh, function that we're going to be using is normal. Oops. But, uh, normal d underscore I CDF inverse CDF and then we'll be passing in um, the mean so I'm going to put uh, mu here we'll be passing in um, Sigma divided by the square root of n and then the last parameter will be the area to the left it's always the area to the left okay so this one right here Find the value separating the bottom 20%. So they're telling us over here that this is 20%, and if that's 20%, this has to be 80%. Because all of it has to add up to 100%. And this is the value we're trying to find. So the area to the left of this value is 20%. So let's plug this into the calculator then. Um, there it is. Okay, let me clear out of that out from the previous um, video. Okay, now if you're in apps or if you're anywhere in your calculator, if you press home, that'll get you to where you need to be here. And then we press our toolbox. It'll bring up the menu. And you want your math option selected. If you got one of these other choices selected, like app, just click the math. And I believe the HP Prime is a touch screen, so you just touch it. If you got an emulator, you can just click this. Now we want to choose probability, and you see there's a 5 next to it, so I'll press 5. And we want inverse, and you see there's a 7 next to it, so we press 7. And we want normal, and you see there's a 1 next to it, so I'll do normal. Now we want to put in our mean first. We said our mean was 50. So we'll put in 50, comma, and then we do our standard deviation to divide by the square root of n. So I'll do 3 divided by square root is shift x squared n is 25 so do 25 and then my right arrow to get out of the absolute value or out of the square root now do right arrow one more time to get out of the fraction then I'll do comma and uh, we're going to do the area of the left which we said was 20 percent so you can put in 0.2 or 0 0.20 both give you the same answer and then press enter and we get 49, and if I round up two decimal places, 49.5. So that would be our answer. 
Okay, this next one. Find the value separate the top 30%. So what they're telling us here is they're telling us this area, this probability over here is 30%. If that's 30%, then this has to be 70%. And we're trying to find this value. And again, the area to the left of this is 0 0.70. So we're now ready to plug this in. Okay, so I'm going to do my um, toolbox. Choose uh, probability, 5. Choose 7 for inverse. Choose 1 for normal. I'll put in my, my um, mean, which is 50. Comma, standard deviation divided by square root of n. So I do 3 divided by shift x squared, 25. Right arrow wants to get out of the, the radical. One, right arrow one more time to get out of the fraction. Comma, and then the area to the left in this problem is 0 0.70. Or 0 0.7. You don't have to put 0. And then we'll press enter. And that gives us 50.31. And that's our answer. <clears throat> okay. This one. Find the values. Separate in the middle 95%. So in this one, they're telling us the uh, amount in the middle is 95%. So um, put 0.95 there which means we'll put 5% into the tails. So we'll put 0 0.025 here, you split it evenly, and you put 0 0.025 here. Now we've got two values we're trying to find here. We're trying to find this one, and then we're trying to find this one. <coughs> Let's find this one first. The area to the left of this one is 0 0.025. So I'm going to do a toolbox. Choose 5 for probability, 7 for inverse, choose 1 for normal. Put in the mean, which is 50, comma, standard deviation, 3 divided by, and then the square root. So I do shift, x squared, 25, right arrow twice, then comma, and then the area to the left, which is 0 0.025. And then I'll press um, enter. And that gives us 48.82. Now let's find this other one. Now in this one, trying to find this one right here, the area to the left is all of this area. So we have to add up the 0 0.025 and the 0 0.95. So we're going to enter in 0 0.975 for the um, area to the left. Okay. So I'm going to choose my toolbox, choose 5 for probability, 7 for inverse, choose 1 for normal, put in the mean, which is 50, comma, standard deviation, which is 3, divided by uh, square root, so I do shift, x squared, of n, which is 25, right arrow to get out of the radical, right arrow to get out of the fraction, comma, and then the area to the left we said was 0.975. And then I'll press enter. And we get 51.18. Uh, and these would be our answers. Now, sometimes you have uh, little variations of this, but they all revolve around uh, these three, you know, the, the left tail, right tail, or two tail uh, idea. Um, you just have to kind of figure it out what the problem you're dealing with. Now, top 30%. Let's talk about that briefly. If we're talking about how long does it take you to run the mile? It takes me three hours. Um, 180 minutes. Where somebody else maybe takes them 15 minutes. Obviously I can't run. <laughs> um, the fact that my time is greater is not good. Um, the, the faster you run it, then the better you are. So when they say the top 30% here, the 30% would actually be on this side, and the 70% would be on this side. So you have to take that into account. You have to figure out which side uh, it falls on. Every problem is different, so I can't really give you a guideline on that. You just have to think of this as a number line, and when you put your numbers down here, which, which one's better, which one's worse. Now, sometimes it asks you to find a percentile, like if it asks you to find the um, 80th percentile. You have to think what that uh, indicates. That means you're better than 80% of the 
other people if you were talking about grades so that'd be 80 percent here and 20 percent here now if we're talking about running again well then if you're in the 80th percentile all of a sudden this gets flipped around so again you have to really really think about um, what the words are saying and, and what does that represent in terms of good and bad and top and bottom and so forth now in this video we took a look at uh, finding values of normal distribution where you have many items on a HP prime 